I want to talk more about this short window retirement planning uh, in just a minute, but you did allude to, again, when people are doing the same things that they've always done, it's because they're going to the same people that they've turned to for advice really forever. Your you know, financial planner down the street, your uh, financial advisor, your in insurance guy that you know, is masquerading as a financial, uh, financial representative. What is the industry doing to help people 50 and older right now? They can't do anything, sorry to say. Okay. They keep doing the same things too because that's the only thing they happen to know. Okay. The financial industry is there not to service you but to make money. And once you understand their motivation, well, life is happy. You understand what's going on. It doesn't yeah. do you any good, yeah. but you at least understand where they're coming from. There's a lot on, on, on crash-proof retirement systems and income for life and all this lovely stuff. And they chase little ladies around looking for their CD money so they can sell them an annuity. And annuities are okay, but the money that they're going to generate for life isn't going to be enough to make somebody happy. Mm -hmm. And if they needed to take the money out, they don't realize that, oh yeah, I got a, a double digit return on, on the first year. Well, that's fine. What happened the second year? And the third year and the fourth year? And now you got a, a financial problem and you need to take the money out. Well, you get major back end charges. Yeah. So the industry tries to do things, but they only do the same thing they've been doing. And in a 30 year plan, a lot of those things would be okay. But with short window retirement planning, they don't work. You hit age 50 and 60, you don't have 30 years for this to happen now. Yeah. Okay. You're talking maybe seven to 10 years. Okay. And I've got people that are calling me, want to get involved in the system, and they're 68, 70 years old. I had somebody just call me today, 73. I don't know what I can do for them, but I'm going to talk to them at least and see if I can help. Yeah. Some people I just can't help, they're, they're too far gone. Yeah. And I had one poor lady, nice enough person, but she's worried about paying the bills. She's worried about losing her house. Protect your house, go bankrupt. At least protect your house. You have a place to live. Yeah. Okay. You're still going to be stuck working forever in a day, but at least you'll have a place to live. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's the best you can do. A lot of people are just stuck and you make the best out of their circumstances. What can you do to help them? And some people I can't help. A lot of people I can, yeah. if we can get them in that 50 to 60 range.